every now and again I get emails from people asking if I can write them a custom crochet pattern. Unfortunately that isn't a service that I offer but there are people out there who do and many of them can be found on Fiverr. I thought it would be really fun to see what the process of hiring a crochet pattern writer on Fiverr is like. So today I'm going to pick three different freelancers and I'm going to send them all the exact same brief. Once I receive the completed patterns we'll take a look at them see what they're like and then I'm going to crochet the items from the patterns so we can really compare them. I think it's going to be really interesting to see how each of them interprets the brief and what they do with it. So let's go ahead and find some freelancers to work with. I searched for crochet patterns and the first person I found is Handler. Looking at her profile, she has quite a few gigs relating to crochet and she also has quite a lot of five star reviews, which is a great sign. The pattern I'm going to be asking the freelancers to create is an amigurumi and she does have a specific amigurumi listing. So let's take a look at that. Scrolling through these photos, we can see loads of examples of previous designs she has created. And over here on the right, we can take a look at the different packages on offer. The basic one is £42, the standard one is £67 and the premium one is £101. Each of these is a PDF with step-by-step -step photo instructions and there is the option for an additional charge to have a video tutorial made. I sent Handler a quick message to see which option I should pick for the size of item I want made and she told me to choose the standard package. So I went ahead and purchased that one. As I said, I'm sending the same brief to each designer. I'm going to be asking them to create an amigurumi based off of our dog Willow. So I'll be sending some photos of her along with this brief. Size. The amigurumi should stand at a minimum of six inches tall. Colour. The dog should be brown. Position. Feel free to unleash your creativity on the dog's pose, whether standing, sitting or in any other position that brings the character to life. Colour. The dog must have a red collar. Optional detail. For added character, consider including the option for the dog to have its tongue sticking out. Additional accessory. The amigurumi can come with an optional accessory such as a frisbee or a ball to infuse an extra touch of playfulness. So even though they're all getting the exact same brief, there is plenty of room for customization on their end. Okay, first freelancer hired, let's find two more. The next one I found is Design Pramod. This is their listing for amigurumi patterns, lots of great examples, and again, plenty of positive reviews. Their packages range from 20 pound up to 46 pound, depending on what size your item will be. As I'm asking for a six inch item, I'll need the standard package, which is 29 pounds. The final freelancer I've found is Nadisha. She has 60 reviews and currently has three orders in her queue, so it seems like she's very popular. Again, scrolling through her photos, it all looks very good and she's got some examples of what her patterns look like. I reached out to each of the freelancers just to check they were happy with what I wanted before placing the order and Nadisha said that was fine and actually sent me a custom offer priced at £34. All of the designers have the brief and now all we have to do is wait to hear back from them. So it's only been three days or so and I've just had an email saying the first pattern is ready. So let's take a look at it. So this is the one that was about 35 pound. Oh my God, look. Oh, look at all these pictures, there's loads. Oh my God, I've just seen a Frisbee as well. <laughs> oh, and the red color and the tongue. Oh my God, they've got, they included everything, all the optional things. Uh, and they also got the ears cause she's got her right ear, yeah, it is. The right ear sticks on more than her left ear generally. I can't believe how much detail they've gone to. Oh, with the little frisbee. This is so good. Oh, okay, so here's the pattern. So we've got the materials here and we need four ply cotton yarn, which I don't have any of. So I guess it makes sense to wait for all four of the patterns before I buy any yarn because no doubt they'll all use different yarn. Three millimeter crochet hook, black safety eyes. That all looks good. Oh, there's even instructions on how to read a pattern. We've got some notes, abbreviations. Yeah, this is really detailed. And then we've got, yeah, all of the instructions. It all looks pretty good. It's kind of hard to tell until you start crocheting, I suppose. I'm really impressed actually that they included everything that I said, even the optional things. And I can't believe they got the ears right as well. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. Okay, so I am really happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept the delivery. So everything's looking really promising with that first pattern. I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to crochet it. And I can't wait to see the next two as well. I, I really wasn't sure what to expect going into this, but given how good that one looks, I'm really looking forward to seeing the other two patterns as well. This morning I've had notifications that both of the other patterns are now ready to view, so let's take a look at them. Let's take a look at the more expensive one first. Okay, so I've just got three photos here. I don't seem to have the pattern, so I think I've probably got to check that I'm happy with the photos and then they'll send the pattern. They do have the tongue sticking out. <laughs> and they've actually used a real collar. Like they just happen to have a real collar on hand. <laughs> um, 
Okay, I'm happy. Okay, so I'm gonna let them know that I'm happy with that and ask for the pattern file. Okay, so let's take a look at the last one and that one is the least expensive out of all three. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, look at the little ball. And it looks like it's in like a really playful position as well. Oh, that's the pattern. Let's have a quick look. 2.5 millimeter hook, worsted yarn. That seems like an odd combo. Uh, six millimeter safety eyes, and we've got all the stitches, abbreviations, and then it just starts with the instructions. Okay, worsted yarn. Surely that's not, because to me worsted yarn's quite thick. You wouldn't use a 2.5 millimeter hook with a worsted yarn. I'm gonna send them a quick message and double check the yarn weights because I know that like different weights have different names in different places. <laughs> <laughs> like in one country it's called one thing, in another country it's called another thing, so... But once I've got clarification on that and I've received the other pattern, I'm gonna get started on making them all. So I've got the third pattern now and we're just gonna take a quick look at it and then get to crocheting. So you've seen the pictures already, we've got a material list, DK yarn, buttons, stitch markers, a glue gun? I don't have a glue gun. <laughs> What's that for, I wonder? Okay, we've got some tips. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Instructions on how to do a single crochet. All these patterns are really detailed, I will say that. <laughs> and then we've got just the pattern down here. Not gonna waste too much time looking at it. I just wanna get to crocheting. <laughs> so I'm gonna crochet them in the order that I received them. So we're gonna start with this one, the one with the ears. I showed this to my partner and immediately he was like, oh my God, the ears, just like I did. <laughs> so, oh, and he also said the frisbee was the wrong color, but that's my fault for not specifying that her frisbee is red. By the way, I went yarn shopping and I could not find the right yarn for this pattern. I also didn't receive an answer about the yarn on the other pattern, so. I'm gonna be using yarn that I've got on hand, which is DK weight yarn. I'm gonna be using this for all three patterns. It might mean that some of them don't come out the right size, but never mind. So we're gonna start with a light brown color and work eight single crochets into a magic ring. Oh, and then we're changing to dark brown. Oh, okay, so the, the, the pores, the pad, the pores, the pads, the pores, the, pores, the pads. <laughs> Paws, the bottom of the paws must be a slightly different colour. I thought it was just the nose that was a different colour, but yeah, you can't really see on the photos, but the bottom of the paws are a slightly different colour. Okay, so I've done the first two legs. I think these are the front legs. It doesn't say if it's the front legs or the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we've got legs and then we've got legs part two. So these are the back legs because here you've got arms, so they're obviously the front legs. I've made the rookie mistake of not reading the pattern all the way through before starting. Shame on me. <laughs> All right, I'll keep making because um, it's just like tails and legs and ears. Not very interesting. I'll update you again when we get to something like the head or the frisbee. <laughs> I've made all of the sort of smaller pieces. There are so many. I had no idea when I started. I just kept going through the pattern like, okay, maybe I can start the head now. I was like, no, there's another piece. There's another piece. There's another piece. It's just really detailed, which is great, but this did take me longer than I'd like to admit. So I'm going to start on the head now. Do these eyes look a bit small, do you think? I'm struggling to tell, they kind of look bigger on the photo. I completely forgot that using thicker yarn would mean the eyes would need to be bigger too. And these are the only ones I've got. I think they'll work, I think they'll look okay in the end. I've just finished the head, can you see my mistake? I can't believe what I've just done. Can you tell? I don't think it's too obvious. I've put the eyes on different rows. I don't know how I managed that, but this one is lower than this one. <laughs> I think if I just, there, it doesn't, it, it won't be obvious, will it? Oh, I hope not. Let's just move straight onto the body. This is where it starts to get interesting because you start assembling it. You like add the uh, legs on as you crochet. So yeah, let's give this a go. It is time to start stuffing these pieces and sewing them together. I am really excited. A minute ago, I was just, like holding the pieces up to get a rough idea of what it was gonna look like and oh it looks so good i'm really excited i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing with this jaw it just, I, it just doesn't look right when i'm doing it compared to the photo how have they done that something like that i think is probably the way to go <laughs> there we go that's 
worked out much better than I was expecting. Let's see if we can get these ears on and make it match how they've done it as well. I think I did a pretty good job on the ears. I think it looks like Willow. I don't think I did such a good job on the eye details though. I, I hate doing details around eyes. They just never look symmetrical. And it definitely doesn't help that I put the eyes on different rows. <laughs> I don't think it looks so bad though but overall i think it looks pretty good and all i've got left to do now is put the head on the body and then put the collar around the neck and then it's done look at this look at this it is so good i can't believe it it looks even better than the photo i think and of course got the little frisbee very important this pattern was really detailed really clear really easy to follow and i'm really impressed with how it's turned out. I think this is going to be really difficult to beat for the other two patterns. I'm going to be surprised if I like either of them more than this one to be honest. <laughs> but it's now time to move on to the second pattern which was the least expensive out of all three so let's see how that turns out. So I've just finished the head. I will say I was a little bit surprised that it came out this shape. As I was working it, it had like the rounds of increases and then a few rounds of single crochet. And I was expecting that we were gonna go to some decrease rounds and make a ball, but obviously that's not the case. Looking at the photos, it does look like that is just sewn onto the body. I think maybe, you know, a little bit of neck shaping, if that just sort of came in a little bit there. Maybe that would have been better, but we'll see. We'll see, trust the process. So I'm gonna move on to what's next. Muzzle, the ears, and then the legs. I am a little bit concerned about the legs. They look so thin and, I don't know, a bit flimsy, like they might struggle to hold up the body properly. And even in the photos, I think it looks a bit like that. Um, so we'll see how that goes. So I'm just about to start the body and I've noticed a very small mistake, not a big one, but I thought I'd just mention it. It says here, start with orange but the body is definitely brown not orange like i say not a huge mistake it's not going to be the end of the world but it is important to note that if you are buying a pattern from one of these sellers it's not going to be tech edited it's not going to be pattern tested so it is kind of likely that every now and again you're going to run into a bit of an issue and you just kind of have to hope that it's a small one like this and not something that's gonna ruin the entire pattern I've got all of the pieces finished down here and it's time to start assembling this. But these assembly instructions aren't great. So the first step is sew the muzzle and... And what? I don't know. The head, I would have to assume, just based on this photo over here. And then it says embroider the nose and mouth with a black colour, which is fine, but it would be nice to have a really clear photo of what the nose looks like, just to give me an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. Sew the ears to the head, that's fine. Attach the legs to the body, fine. Attach the tail, fine. And then the last step is just attach the, attach the, I don't think there's anything else to attach. But the other thing is there's no instructions on when to put the safety eyes in. So yeah, this is gonna require a little bit of guesswork. So the second one is done. Overall, it turned out okay. I think there's a pretty noticeable difference between this one and the previous one in terms of just the quality of the finished product. The pattern was fairly clear though. It didn't have any instructions on where to put the legs, but I think I more or less figured that out. And they aren't as flimsy as I thought they were gonna be. It does support the body. This one also didn't have a collar, which is something that I specified I wanted. That wasn't one of the optional details. So that's a bit of a disappointment. But let's move on to the last of the three patterns. I'm really looking forward to this one because I think it's got a sort of cartoonish look about it. Like it's got a really big head and I think it just looks really fun. And I think it's gonna be a pretty good one. I've just finished all of the legs and they've turned out great, but I will say this pattern is written in a way that I am not really used to. If we look at row two, where you can see increase, 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 and then there's a dot, 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 that means that they want you to repeat the increases all the way around, but that's not actually specified anywhere in the pattern. I'm used to it being sort of in brackets or with an asterisk with the instruction to repeat. I kind of had to work that out for myself. And here it's kind of obvious that you just continue increasing. If you come down to one of these rows here where there are more instructions, you can see it's decreased, two single crochet, decreased single crochet. And then you've got single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. 
and then you've got a bunch of commas and then a bunch of dots and it took me a moment to figure out am I repeating the entire row or is it just the single crochets and I kind of had to look at the stitch count to work it out um it did just mean the single crochets so like I could work it out but I would have liked more clear instructions to be honest and then I also realized if I scroll down a bit more they show you here that you're only doing the increases between where they've put these stitch markers but then this sort of confused me a little bit more as well because I saw these photos and I was like where are the instructions to place stitch markers but there obviously aren't they've just added those to make it a bit clearer where your increases should be I am confused oh it goes straight from row 3 to row 20 and the only instructions for the next few rows are just these photos right let me start with one of the legs and then it says to slip stitch and on the rows after it says slip stitch to the leg so i'm wondering if they've missed the instruction because if they have that then adds up to four legs so let's <laughs> let's try that just realized i've not really been paying attention to which way i'm attaching the legs my paws might be facing in the wrong direction um but i don't feel like that's my fault okay so i think this does kind of look like the photo almost and i was confused by these instructions before but i think they're basically saying to single crochet around the edge for well it doesn't say how many rows but this row here is row three and then the next row instructions are for row 20 so for like 17 rows i guess i'm just single crocheting all the way around now that I look at it again, I'm less certain that that's what I have to do actually. It's saying make single crochet row to cover this space and that it's not going all the way around. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know what to do. So this is not going great. I'm doing what it's asking, like I'm sure that I'm doing this right, but as you can see, I've added stuffing to the paws and they're not on the right way. Um, this one very much pointing that way, that one pretty much backwards. These two are kind of on the right way, I think. But yeah, um, it's, it's pretty frustrating that arguably the most difficult part of this pattern is the bit that's missing instructions. But yeah, I'm not gonna go back and try and fix the legs. I'm just gonna keep working and you know, it's just gonna have wonky legs. I'm gonna be honest, I'm very disappointed with how the body's turned out. I do think there was probably supposed to be a few more rounds of single crochet here before decreasing, because as you can see, the legs are sort of flaring outwards and I think a few more rounds of single crochet would have meant they stood up a bit more. And of course, the paws are all just going in the wrong direction. It's time to start assembling this dog and it looks like it's gonna be pretty quick and easy because there aren't many pieces. But the next step is just to add the ears. I guess I've got to figure out which way I want to put the head. <laughs> which way's the front? Um, oh God, it doesn't really make much difference, does it? Let's do that way. I've just attached the jaw and I can't help but think that the instructions to add the jaw should have been before attaching the head to the body because I think the jaw should have gone further back but I couldn't put it any further back because I'd already sewed the head onto the body. I'm really sad about this one. I was really looking forward to it. I thought it was going to turn out so good. I just really liked the way it looked in the photos but unfortunately the body just let it down. And I think you can sort of see if, if the body and the legs were on the right way it would be good, it would be great. And I think just the jaw, I think I mentioned that before. It was so close to being really good. Yeah, it also didn't have instructions for a collar. It just sort of said attach collar. It did come with a ball though, so that's nice. I'm just a bit sad about this one. I thought it was gonna be so good. And it was the most expensive pattern as well. So it's a shame that it didn't live up to the expectation. Out of these three patterns, I have a very clear favorite, but is it better than the willow that I crocheted a few years ago? Personally, I think it is. I think it's better than mine, but let me know what you think. And more importantly, what does Willow think? Which is her favorite? Let's find out. Hey, what do you think to these? What do you think to these toys? She's more interested in the microphone. Brilliant. What do you think? Oh yeah, yeah, you like that one? Yeah, is that good? You like that one too? Oh my goodness, so much choice. Yeah, you can't pick all three of them up, can you? Okay, I guess. I guess that one's the winner, is it? Is that your favourite? 
goodbye then so if you've ever wanted a custom crochet pattern be sure to check out fiverr there are so many freelancers to choose from and you can get a discount on your next order using code willow i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you in the next one